Hi, this is Manos Berlakis from the Minneapolis Heart Institute, presenting case 38 for the second edition of the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case of acute vessel closures that was salvaged by using the retrograde approach. This was a 50-year-old man who presented with unstable angina and was found to have a high-grade lesion in the second obtuse marginal in the proximal circumflex. There was no significant disease in the LAD, and there was only moderate disease in the uh, right coronary artery, hence the circumflex was the target vessel that was considered to be the culprit for the patient's presentation. However, during attempts to wire the circumflex, significant difficulty was encountered, and actually the wire went into the subintimal plane past that area of occlusion, which subsequently caused acute closure of the second obtuse marginal branch. The patient at this point having started having chest discomfort and electrocardiographic changes. We did multiple attempts to advance a wire into the true lumen of the second obtuse marginal branch. However, we were unable to do so even when we used an undergrade stingray balloon and guide wire who could not get re-entry into the distal true lumen. We then noticed that the patient had a large epicardial collateral coming from the distal LAD all the way to the second obtuse marginal. And then we were actually able to wire through this collateral using a sealed wire all the way in the true lumen. And we can now see that the retrograde wire is in a different plane than the undergrade subintimal guide wire. It was challenging advancing the retrograde wire due to severe tortuosity and calcification in the circumflex. However, we were able to perform the reverse card in the mid-circumflex. And then we were able to externalize, snare and externalize the retrograde guide wire. We are using the so-called ping-pong guide technique, which essentially means there are two guides that are engaging the same vessel. Here is the initial guide catheter through which the Corsair catheter is advanced. It goes into the LAD and then through the collateral into the second uh, obtuse marginal and then through the circumflex back into the left main and then the Corsair is advanced into the second guide catheter which um, uh, is uh, helpful instead of having a single guide catheter minimizes uh, uh, tight space and interaction between the two micro catheters. After doing this, we were able to balloon and stem the circumflex and then successfully recanalize the circumflex in the second obtuse marginal. The patient uh, did well. He did have a uh, chest discomfort during the procedure and he did have some biomarker elevation, partially related probably to the occlusion of another obtuse marginal branch, but he had an uneventful recovery and resolution of his symptoms. So in summary, acute vessel closure can be a catastrophic complication of uh, PCI. And this complication can, in some cases, be approached by re-entry into the distal true lumen, either by undergrade dissection re-entry or by using the retrograde approach, as in the case we just presented. Thank you.